Microsoft founder Bill Gates last handed over the CEO position to Steve Ballmer in 2000. As a founding member with Bill Gates, he took over as CEO in 2000. He graduated from Harvard, majored in economics and mathematics, also called Royal Road. Samsung has been placed on the tech corporate list for a series of rapid growths, and has continued to grow ever since. In 2003, Microsoft established the Iron Throne, accounting for about 95% of the world's web browsers. The rapid growth of Apple, which has written the history of tech companies, began in 2004. Google's Chrome, which has now replaced the position of Internet Explorer, marked the beginning of that growth as it began to rank number 10 in 2005 for the first time at Tech. In 2006, Google acquired YouTube, the world's largest video sharing site, and along with it posted an astonishing growth rate. In 2007 was the year the iPhone was released, and Apple had a tremendous impact. In 2008, Nokia belatedly made its first full-touch smartphone, with 8 million units sold, however, it was not enough compared to the iPhone. With the belated introduction of smartphones, Nokia recorded a huge deficit and its downfall began in 2009. In the meantime, Google has become the number two player with huge growth rates and is beginning to threaten Microsoft's top position. Contrary to Nokia's fall, Apple raised its brand value at an unprecedented pace with the iPhone's record-breaking performance. Apple legend Steve Jobs passed away in 2011 and Tim Cook took over as new commander. Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook, which heralded the start of the SNS era, has garnered public attention with huge growth rates. Leaving behind many people's concerns, Tim Cook stably managed Apple and continued its unrelenting growth. Apple continued to dominate the market, and Facebook ranked 10th in tech's list for the first time. With AlphaGo and Lee Se Doll's Go Match of the Century, Google marked the beginning of the era of artificial intelligence. Regardless of the sales, the media criticized Apple for its lack of innovation, and Apple's growth has begun to slow. As a mockery of this, Apple has widened the gap with the runner-up, surpassing the $200 billion brand value. 